All praises to Yahweh by Hashem, Yahweh Shai, by Hashem Rechach Badash, the Bahanners, to the Apostles and Elders of Great Millstone, Shalom, Salutations, to the hopeful elect that's fighting a good fight of faith and truth, and sincerity and wholeheartedly, Shalom to the Aqua, which is the women believers, Shalom to you. It said, For their rock is not as our rock, even our enemies themselves being judges. So when you read this chapter, you know, it's going into the destruction of us, the uplifting of us, and the destruction to our enemies. And um, this scripture right here is talking about the heathen. Their rock is not as our rock. That's why you see a little R and a capital R. So, um... You know, the Lord, he ruleth in the kingdom of men and give it to whomsoever he will, even the basis of men. Now, you got the base of the basis of men, Esau, Edom, but also the nations is base too, because they're heathens. And what made me want to do this video reading, you know, the David and Goliath story, the modern day Goliath is Esau, Edom. See, at one point in time, Esau, Edom was feared and to a certain extent he still is, but he had his time where the nations is rising up against him. But even that, it's Edomites versus Edomites. Russia is a guard to all these nations that's going to come up against you know, the Bab <clears throat> the Babylonian Edomite, which is Americans. And then you have the small hats, the the Jays. All right. So it's a kingdom divided against itself. It cannot stand. So Edomites is still in the power seat. If it's through America, the small hats or Gog and Magog. They still are Edomites. So the modern day Goliath is the Edomites. And we know the story, but I'm going to get the uh, quick account anyway. How did King David uh, destroy or kill Goliath with a rock? Who was our rock? Yahweh Shai. That's how we going to prevail. So Lord willing, this be edifying. <clears throat> Just get the quick account, get straight to the points. This day will Yahweh Bashim Yahweh deliver you into my hand, and I will smite you and take your head from you, and I will give the carcass, carcasses of the hosts of the Philistines this day into the fowls of the air, into the wild beasts of the earth, that all the earth may know that there is a power in Israel. So imagine Goliath at this time, the, the greatest warrior. He big as all hell. Everybody's scared of him. All right. Uh, King David is a young, young man. When they gave a description of him, he was basically a, a scrawny man. Really wasn't like no warrior uh, attributes about him. And he's speaking like this. You know, you could actually symbolize when we go on the highways and byways and we talking about how Yahweh Shai. It's going to come and deliver his elect, how he going to give some of us spiritual power, how he going to cause the nations to rise up against you, how he going to set forth his kingdom. So, you know, it's it's a form of what happened back then and what's happening today. It's nothing new under the sun. So, yeah. So just imagine that. Put yourself there and you see this little young man. Talking to this great warrior who everybody afraid of. And he talk about, I'm going to cut your head off and I'm going to give the carcasses of the Philistines to the fowls of the air. And you're going to know that there is a power in Israel. That's the way that we preach, man. So it says, in all this assembly shall know that Yahweh Bashem Abishai save of not with sword and spear for all you people who think you can take matters into your own hands. All right. For the battle is of Yahweh's. And he will give you into our hands. See, the Lord said he's going to fight for us. We don't have to fight. Even the standard that he's going to lift up against Esau when he come in like a flood, Isaiah 59 and 19. That's him giving us spiritual power to fight. 
So it's not by us. The battle is won through whoever the Lord wants to win. And it says, and it came to pass when the Philistines arose and came and drew nigh to meet David, that David hasted and ran towards the army to meet the Philistine. And David put his hand in his bag and took the a stone and slang it and smote the Philistine in his forehead and that the stone sunk into his forehead and fell upon the face of the earth. Yahweh was in that rock. All right. Yahweh is the rock. So that's why I love this book so much, because the spiritual connotations that you can get from it. You know, when the Lord is dealing with you and, you know. We are in the worst case scenario. In this captivity, we lost everything and we getting it back. And then, as the scripture says, it said that we get weaker through age. So we are at our weakest point physically. Mentally, Esau, Edom, he's at his height, even though he's declining right now. So, man, when I read this, I'd be like, man, we're going we, to hey, listen. Yeah, I was shy, man. That's what it's all about. The Alpha and Omega. That's what it's all about. We have the victory. So remove sorrow away from your heart. And remember the last end. It says, so King David prevailed over the Philistine with a sling and with a stone and smote the Philistine and slew him. But there was no sword in the hand of David. So the Lord is not going to save us by, you know, let's get an army and go against. He's going to get slaughtered if you do that, you know. So, um, matter of fact, what is that? I think that's. Second Samuel 22. Uh, Strangers shall submit themselves unto me. As soon as they hear, they shall be obedient unto me. Who's going to cause this? Yahweh Shai. This is kingdom talk right here. Ain't nobody listening to us right now. Everybody looking at us as the offscoring of the earth, as the scripture says. We are the filth of the earth in the eyes of them. See, now the elites, oh, they watch us. They hear us. They know. But the regular everyday Edomite, they just like, oh, whatever. They go on with their life. You go. You think you go put us in slavery? Ha, 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 ha. Yeah. So that's how they think. Strangers. Strangers is symbolizes heathen. All right. In this context, strangers shall fade away and they shall be afraid out of their close places. Yahweh liveth and blessed be my rock and exalted be the power of the rock of my salvation. It's all about that rock. Yahweh Shai, who the, who the father committed all things unto him. It is the most high that avenge of me. As the scripture says, avenges his minds and that bring of down the people under me. Ask of me and I should give you the heathen from uh, for your inheritance. Revelation two. Who was talking right there? Yahweh Shai. And that bring up me forth from my enemies. You also have lifted me up on high above them that rose up against me. You has delivered me from the violent man. Who was the violent man? Esau, Edom. All right. So deliverance is coming. All we got to do is endure to the end. And the only way you can do that is by staying prayed up. But this flesh is weak. And that's why the scripture said, watch and pray that you fall not into temptation for the flesh is weak, but the spirit is indeed willing. Therefore, I will give thanks unto ye, to you, O Yahweh, Bashem Yahweh Shah, among the heathen, and I will sing praises unto your name. And that's what we do every video. We're praising the name of the Lord. We're telling you who we come in. We're telling you what our Lord is going to do in due time. He is the tower of salvation for his king and show of mercy to his anointed unto King David and to his seed forevermore. So this is what's about to happen. So now we go on the highways and byways and we profess this. He brought me up also out of the horrible pit, this system that we in, 
this white supremacy uh, system that started back in slavery. All right. And then shit, when we actually got released from slavery, it actually became worse. That's when the system really, you know, came to its fullness, put it that way. Cause like when you you have documentaries that happened to us after slavery, it was actually worse than slavery. So this horrible pit, which is this this system, this captivity, as they say in Baruch three and eight, we are in our captivity and subjected to payments. Out of the miry clay, we ain't have no stability at one point in time, and set my feet upon a rock. Now we got stability, wisdom, and knowledge should be the stability of thy times. And establish my goings. And he had put a new song in my mouth. Talking about what we prophesy about today. Though we once knew this. But the truth was barren without fruit at one point in time. Now the Lord has sent down his Holy Spirit upon men. Men taught other men. Those men taught other men. And we all enter into other men's labors. But that's that new song. The new song that was. You know not. Uh, widely known. Like even the name Yahawashai. It's not widely known. That's what it means by new. Not that it's never been here it's just that it was gone for a while now it's back and only the elect can hear it as a sit as a saying on revelation 14 the hundred and forty four thousand can only learn the song and it says even praise unto our power many shall see it in fear and that's the powers that be and shall trust in yahweh bashim yahweh shai so yahweh shai is our rock through him we're going to be able to push down nations and put them in subjection as I uh, quoted. Hold that fast what you have. Talking about this word. Revelation 2 and 25. And then what Revelation 2 and 26 say. Ask of me. And I should give you the heathen for an inheritance. And you should rule them with a rod of iron. And break them as the vessels. Alright. To shivers. Paraphrase the last part. But um, But yeah. So that's what's going to happen. That's what's going to happen, man. Through your house shot, the Alpha and Omega. <clears throat> Said, Behold, he cometh with clouds, and every eye shall see him. They also which pierce him, and all the kindreds of the earth shall well because of him. So even the two thirds going to get destroyed by, you know, our rock. Because when you was in your past life in the Roman Empire, you said, Let his blood be on us and our children. You chose Barabbas over the Savior. So you're going to have to deal with that. The Lord got a 2,000 year old beef. Even the one who pierced him, man. The Romans, um, the Roman uh, uh, satyrian. And it says, I am Alpha and Omega, the beginning and the end. He was Adam. All right. That's where it started with. And then with Yahawashah. Ever since what, ever since what Yahawashah did 2,000 years ago, now we able to enter into our glory. The beginning and the ending, save the Lord, which is and which was and which is to come, the Almighty. All right. So the Lord is our rock. He's our stability. He's our savior. And through him, we're going to get everything that we dream of. And that's a righteous world where we on top. We don't have to worry about sin no more because the scripture said we're going to be changed in the twinkle of an eye. The new covenant is going to be the laws. Statue of Commandments written inside of us, man. We're going to have to worry no more, man. You know, so. As the first scripture I started off with for our rock, it's not like for their rock. It's not like our rock, man. Their power is idols. Our power is the living son of the most high, the only begotten who our father put all things into his hand. That's our power. That's the power that we serve. Remember that. Take that with you everywhere you go. He is the issues of death. All right. He got the power to cause death and to raise up. So if you the scripture says, if you put forth your hand not to do iniquity, then a rod. Matter of fact, let me end it on that. I think I haven't read that in a while. For the rod of the wicked shall not rest upon the lot of the righteous, lest the righteous put forth his hands unto iniquity. That's very important. That last part, iniquity is sins upon sin. We all sinners, we all F up. But it's a difference when you start, 
you know, doing this and doing that and doing this. And you ain't repenting. You just falling with by the wayside. So, you know, the Lord, he controls life and death. And if you do right, he's going to do right by you. All right. So, you know, hopefully this video is edifying and the modern day Goliath is going to get destroyed by the rock again. Shalom.